Howdy, 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 my darling Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your monthly tarot reading, Libra, for July 2022. All right. So if you enjoy this monthly tarot reading, Libra, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know that y'all are listening and want to interact with me, darling. I like keeping up with you. As well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, darling. It's completely free to do, Libra, and it really helps out this tarot channel out a lot, honey. All right. Um, as well, Libra, be sure to check out your sun moon rising and venus sign because that's how you make general tarot readings on youtube or wherever you consume your tarot readings work the best for you is by catering the energy to your chart darling all right so let's just get right into this here today my beautiful libras let's see what's going to be happening i'm going to be doing three rows for you your career and work life your social life platonic or romantic family related just your social life libra and then just general predictions we'll be pulling all three of them and then getting into clarifications after so so starting with your career and financial situation here, Libra, we have the Five of Swords, the Empress with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like right now for you, Libra, you're going into July, maybe a little bit stressed out. There's something, there's something in regards to your financial life or your just work situation that's been weighing heavy on you, right? You're asking yourself, being like, how am I going to be able to pay off this bill? Or you're questioning how you're going to be going from point A to point B is what I'm getting here, all right? You even have the King of Cups in the back of the deck here. So for you guys, you guys are going to be getting emotional stability during July here, all right? I feel like you guys are going to be feeling a lot more secure with your place in the world, what it is that you're doing in July here because of the Sempress energy as well um times are going to be changing for you all right maybe you've been going through a pretty uh, trying time i do see that now when i pull uh, i see the ten of swords in the back of the deck after i pulled this king of cups here so um july is going to be different this month is going to be different for you this time it's going to be different for you libra when it comes to your financial situation here things are turning up for the positive here things are going to be getting rectified for you taking away the anxiety that you had with certain situations all right Things are just going to be, things are looking pretty pleasant for you, darling, in regards to your career and financial. And I feel as if right now, Libra, you're sitting there telling me, it's like, oh, yeah, sure, Valka, like you say this, but it, because it's like, I feel like your current environment doesn't feel like it, right? Because again, you don't know how you're going to go from point A to point B, but there's something about July, honey, something's going to be happening. This month is different. That's what I keep on, like pops in my head here is like, this month is different, Libra. So getting into your social life, your romantic life, you know, friends. Uh, family darling let's take a look here you have the hierophant the four of swords as well as the queen of pentacles here and then in the back of the deck here we have the hanged man we'll start talking about this hanged man first and foremost here libra i feel as if libra you guys have really identified patterns that you have when it comes to your social life all right i feel as if you are it's like not only just like the type of persons that you would attract libra but also the type of behavior that you would allow with people um as well would always be there's like a seemingly like some type of similarity or though like you would always find yourself in situations of where you're always giving your energy to situations and never getting anything back like it's just this sense for you libra where it's like you're waking up to your uh your own personal devil when it comes to relationships here all right things are definitely changing in your social life here in july all right um definitely about action i hear i feel closure is going to be happening here i feel as if commitment's going to be shown with certain people but i also feel as if you're going to be accepting certain situations for what they are and learning how to be, either be at peace with them or walking away from them here, right? And I feel like it's going to be you choosing to be at peace with them here, Libra. I feel as if you're getting to the point now where it's just like you're not really even focused in on having like a love life or creating like getting new friendships. You would like it, right? But I feel like you're at this, you're at this point where you're very content with your own company here, Libra. I feel like for you currently, you would rather just do your own thing, do your self-care, honey, focus on building up your dreams or like whatever it is for you, Libra. Like you want to put energy into doing stuff like that. And if social connections come along that seem um, promising, 
then you'll let them in here. And I do see this happening for you, Libra. Let's take a look at the back of the deck here. Yeah, with that hanged man going back into that there, like I feel as if it's like this new sense of awareness. You have to think about it with the hanged man of where it's just like, yep, and right afterwards, Libra, we have the page, page of cups here. I knew there was a reason as to why <laughs> I felt drawn to do, reference the page of uh, the back of the deck again. Page of cups talks about new people entering your life here, Libra, all right? And so here's the thing. It's like now that you've awakened to like this new reality when it comes to relationships in your life what you get out of them and what have you right it's like you see people differently now and you're going to start attracting a different type of person as well libra is what i feel for you and so overall i'm happy with what's going on for you libra but i'm not going to sugarcoat this and say that um i don't see you um having to just like it's like bittersweet energies like accepting how certain situations in your life are how certain relationships are in your life are it's like it's you can't change them and it's just like it is what it is so i don't know why i get like this sense of like bittersweetness with that libra so now let's make some general predictions for you darling see what we can be predicting for this month of july uh -uh. King of Swords, the Emperor energy with the tower. Two of Swords in the back of the deck here, darling. Okay. So you guys, Libra, as you get more comfortable with, as you get more confidence with yourself, really, Libra, you are going to be, that's what's happening. It's like the more confidence that you've developed with yourself, the more that you're not afraid in walking away from situations, the more that you're not afraid and taking like sweeping the rug from under the situation and being like, oh, this doesn't serve me. Bye. Like you're not afraid of packing your bags and leaving anymore, Libra. And I feel like that's been the key point for you, because I feel like whatever was keeping you around, it wasn't like the sense of like you needing to learn how to just pack your bags and leave Libra. I mean, on some level it could have been. But I feel like the main thing for you is just like the lesson that it had happened for you is where it's like what I kept you from keeping you from packing your bags and leaving from situations right it was always like some similarity that you always like would put yourself into these types of relationships that um, you maybe you wouldn't describe them as toxic but you would always put too much into your relationships and that's where the resentment and the toxic feelings would occur perhaps libra and so for you guys the month of july seems to be the sense of like you guys are definitely libra getting more and more empowered all right darling i mean you can't deny this king of swords energy this is your energy libra right you guys are seeing the most you have the most clarity that you have now like the clarity that you have now in the coming days in july libra like you are seeing things 2020 crystal clear darling all right as well as even with your career i feel like i want to tell you to keep to the vision here all right i feel like you're going to be getting some inspiration libra for how you want to be doing certain things in your career how you want to be going forward in terms of your money like i don't know i feel like you're just going to not be feeling nearly as lost as you are going into this month so speaking about feeling lost darling let's get back into your career here going off from the empress energy wheel of fortune five of swords energy right libra like you guys have been going through it and yes you have darling ace as well as page of cups coming in here and then the devil energy for your career clarifying cards here all right so you guys have been battling inner demons libra when it comes to your work life here you've been battling with your imposter syndrome some of you guys have been battling with your spending habits here i feel like you got really humbled <clears throat> not me losing my voice i feel as if many of you libras got humbled in the month of Ju uh, june and so in july because you had that humbling experience that's where i think the times are different for you now all right page as well as ace of cups coming in for you is pretty powerful um here some of you libras might be attracting someone in your same work field all right to connect with or you might be attracting a mentor because the cup energy can represent people right page of cups represents new people or opportunities or in the ace of cups represents new love so it could be definitely companionship for you in july I see that potential for you all right if you allow it but for the majority of you libras you're going to be just noticing doors opening up for you right and we go back into that confidence that i find you guys developing libra in the month of july i feel like it's this confidence and no longer having that imposter syndrome that has been sitting on your head you know going back into your original cards here like you were just so in your head for a while now that you haven't been able to sit in your power comfortably libra and so now i feel like in july for you like 
no one's going to be able to get rid of you, darling. Like, we're going to be seeing your face everywhere here. And your career aspect uh, blossoms from it, right? So let's get into your social life here. All right, Libra. Queen as well as the Hierophant. Queen of Pentacles with the Hierophant and Four of Swords here. All right. I feel like for you, Libra, again, you're realizing just certain relationships that you were giving too much to and just were like not helping you to your purpose. All right. I feel like certain relationships are just like distractions for you. All right. So let's start delving into this deeper. Let's get some more clarification. Ten of Pentacles, the lover's energy, as well as the Knight of Cups coming in here, darling. All right, Libra. So this is a very straightforward message here. And then the Three of Pentacles in the back of the deck here. All right, Libra. So for, as I was saying, Libra, like by you guys in the full energy right afterwards in the back of the deck. I love this for you, Libra. So what's going to be happening for you in your social life in July? By you finally realizing the pattern that you needed to be breaking, Libra that's now opening up new relationships in your life here as i said this full energy and then we have the eight of wands representing movement afterwards i'm not going to pull it but you get the point with this libra right times are like relationships where you are changing <clears throat> you find like you probably i know astrologically for libras you uh we have been because i'm a libra scorpio cuss we have been going through the most all of our lessons have been coming through relationships in our life libra for the past few years and so for you libra this is a nice change of pace like the reason why you've been going through those relationships was because there's certain things that you needed to learn learning how to let go learning how to not ignore learning how to speak up right and now that you've learned everything that you needed to learn when it comes to certain relationships in your life you are now going to be getting blessed with new elevated relationships fulfilling relationships here i feel like for many of you libras relationships has been a weak point for you guys which doesn't make sense right because we are the children that we are venetian children right children of venus right so you would think that we would have a thriving relationship right thriving relationships in our life but um being a child of venus darling we because we we love love darling sometimes we will love the devil honey because uh we just that's just how we are it's in our nature all right so you guys are definitely going to be having some people coming forward to you in um july now getting into your predictions for uh libra for you uh we have that king of swords emperor energy with the tower energy um only thing i want to be pointing out to libra is that <clears throat> I feel like for you, healing, what healing's going to look like for you is holding yourself accountable to where you were complacent. And I'm not victim blaming. I know I get, I get accused of that all the time, darling, because I'm all about like personal development and empowerment. And sometimes people think that's victim blaming. But I feel as if for you, Libra, you're realizing the patterns that you would exude with certain relationships that would either enable people to treat you in a certain way, take you for granted or what have you. Like it's going to be complicated for each of you, obviously, for your individual lives, Libra. But I feel like you guys are waking up towards it. And then Ace of Pentacles in the back of the deck uh, for you, Libra. Yes, that's the key. That's what you needed to happen for you yeah and now that you've woken up to that things are things are opening up for you finally libra times are changing this is beautiful for you i'm really happy with what's happening and then right off the bat darling we get your energy <laughs> libra we get the justice card i also personally consider the empress energy um Mm -mm. having associations with libra as well personally i feel like zodiac signs have more than one association with the major arcana so but it's like you can't deny the libra the scales darling here right you found the key you figured it out libra you figured it out you figured out what you needed to do and now you're going to be reaping the benefits we even have the queen of swords here again more divine counterpart energy because we have the emperor as well as the empress with you libra and then the knight of wands yeah truly libra by you guys figuring out the key when it comes to why your relationships were so unsuccessful you're going to be noticing the right people finally being attracted to you i don't know what it is like it feels as if like your spiritual team this uh libra really just wanted you to learn certain lessons from people then that's like so they kept on bringing a certain type of people around Right? It's like they kept all the good ones in the back until you finally learned a few things, Libra. I don't know. That's like a strange message, but it's like you were like, 
you're going to be noticing from July forward, if you truly take in all the lessons that you needed to, right? If you're honest with yourself when it comes to relationships in your life, Libra, you're going to notice um, just a different caliber of person, persons coming in your life in every facet. So now let's wrap up this monthly tarot reading, Libra, with some oracle cards, darling. All right. <clears throat> I hope this reading gave you some clarity. It gave you a sense of direction, Libra. I also do weekly tarot readings, so be sure to check about check those out as well, darling. All right. So, Libra, you have the last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen, darling. Reveal what needs to be seen. All right. This is, I feel like, more so personal truth. Holding yourself, again, like you see in this picture, even, like the woman's by herself. This is like exploring yourself doing that shadow work having that time of hermiting and asking yourself like what you need to be honest with. again like what you need to be honest with yourself is this seems like the message that keeps popping up all right and then you have the new moon in taurus libra know what know your worth darling knowing your worth that naturally just happens because like i feel like this is coming in again through relationships for you you by knowing your worth when it comes to relationships again that's how things start unlocking for you i love how the story is unfolding for you and then we have the new moon in sagittarius coming in here focus on the positivity here learning how to not be bitter holding it against certain people in your life right certainly you may want more from certain relationships and they may not be able to give it to you libra all right don't take it personally you just move on and find because you know your worth you don't choose to settle you choose to find someone that can provide that for you darling in that new friendship in that new romantic relationship in that new business partner right so libra that's the monthly tarot reading that i have for you darling for july 2022 hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you darling all right if you did be sure if you want to book a private reading with me i only do my readings through my website libra simply .com. it's linked down below next to my social medias if you'd like to connect with me on a more intimate level they're there my tiktok and instagram or just simply Velka, same as here darling and yeah i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future libra thank you so much for this privilege and doing this tarot reading and i love you so much darling bye